uh, we were discussing about debugging techniques okay so what what happens when i ask about debugging techniques it's basically a, a process to find the error in the programming okay that what all errors we have in the programs because because mm -hmm. you remember uh, when we talk about errors we get technically three mm -hmm. types of error data error syntax error and third is the programming error okay that is data error logical error and programming errors okay so so if mm -hmm. there is there is data error we get information in the log window fine if mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. there is there is a programming error uh, we get uh, information in the log window but if there is some logical mm -hmm. error so in that case we do not get any kind of information because logic is logic may be uh, correct from uh, programming point of view but that may not mm -hmm. be correct from the objective point of view okay because i am saying if i am i am writing a program wherein mm -hmm. my lo my logic is to create <coughs> a data set for the female employees but mm -hmm. if if uh, by mistake i write where gender is equal to male so in that case i get output for the male okay so uh so from uh, program point of view there is no error but from logic point of view there is error okay i did not supply mm -hmm. the proper logic okay so so in okay. that case in that case we do not get any information in log window okay mm -hmm. and that is the <clears throat> most uh, concern area in analytics wherein wherein uh, we get some kind of logical errors okay mm -hmm. and those all logical errors we need to understand from our own business understanding our own own understanding of of uh, analytics and all okay so so for that we use different kind of debugging techniques so let's see some debugging techniques so so just a question now you said is about logical yeah so if now this um now as i said before it's actually it, Something wrong with the data or programming, then it comes up in the log window. But if nothing is wrong with the uh, data and the programming, yeah, and uh, so it, the program still runs smoothly. Yeah. The only problem is if the we don't get the uh, output as what we really wanted. Yes. Then what you say? Yeah. So it uh, this logic is not actually embedded into the program that's what you're saying yes so in okay. case in case of logical error we do not get output as per objective defined okay yeah okay. but we get some output which is uh, which is away from what we want or what our objective was okay okay, okay. so here it's given the syntax error and logical error okay so a syntax error mm -hmm. occurs when programming statement do not conform uh, to the rules of chaz language okay mm -hmm. an error message is written to the log a logical error occurs when the programming statement follow the rules but the result are not correct okay mm -hmm. so what i am saying the rules are followed but results are not correct yes so it's given that no notes are are written to the log so logical errors are often difficult to detect Okay, yeah. so that is what I was saying. This section focus on identifying the logical errors. What what logical errors happen? We are just going to to discuss small about that because logical errors are such area wherein we need to understand the business requirement. I mean, no one can teach you about the logical errors. Okay, because what what was your objective and what kind of output you are getting? i may be suppose my my uh, senior is saying that they want quarter on quarter report for certain products okay so those report could be in the vertical alignment those reports could be in the, in the horizontal alignment fine so so both uh, i mean both logic are correct but exactly how is the how is the template of my organization i know only okay so we we need to to think from that point of view okay so we are going to have to have some fundamental discussion about logical errors but yes on on very frank note no one can can teach about the logical error of of any business scenario because this is all uh, customized
kind of problem we get. Mm -hmm. So one uh, uh, business problem is given. Given using the uh, mm -hmm. this Orion mailing list data set, mm -hmm. create a new data set uh, that uh, US underscore mailing that includes only those observations with a United States address. Mm -hmm. So my objective is to create a new data set wherein information about the US employees is, is available. Okay. The new data should, uh, set should include only the person's name, uh, street address, city, state and zip code. So these are the variables I want. Name, uh, street address, city, state and zip code. Fine. So I already defined my business requirements. So this is my business requirements. Fine. Okay. So now this is the partial list of uh, the, the Orion mailing list that how it looks like we have name address one address two like this in that address my last word is about the country US okay. Australia like this fine so this is this is how uh, data is available with me fine hmm. now this is the list uh, this is the layout of my new data set which I am supposed to create this is a desired uh, result wherein I want name address city state and zip code fine so this is what I have been asked to do okay so this is my current program just just uh, have a look of the current program my data I am creating a new data set called us underscore mailing using a set operator set orion dot mailing underscore list I am dropping address 3 I do not want third line of address specifying some length length of the city state okay and and using some fundi some conditions if find using find function address 3 mm -hmm. US okay then I am using a new variable called which is what I am using a concatenate function okay and saying mm -hmm. that scan name second part name there is a variable called name and, after, and in that name variable uh, I am looking at the at the second part <coughs> How is, how is the second part that just go to the name I'm looking at second part I'm looking at second part is it mm -hmm. so this is my one logic I'm looking at the second part of my name as well as I am looking at the first part of my name mm -hmm. okay so this is what mm -hmm. so I am creating a, a name variable okay which is concatenation of the second part of the name and first part of the name clear okay. then okay then using uh, then creating a variable called city and using the scan function to find from address 3 the first word of that address okay So now, now I am going to use, I am creating a new variable called city and using the scan function. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so in scan function, I am using the address 3 line and of that I am using the first word. So let's see what is my address 3. My address 3 is equal to this. Where my first word is, suppose in case of uh, uh, a fourth observation, this is San Diego. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like this, mm -hmm. I am using that. <clears throat> then so why you are having this you know, this uh, after scan name one yeah why you have in such kind of uh, you know comma and uh, you know, oh, you, uh, you forgot you forgot the concept oh, I think <clears throat> just a moment I'm, I'm I'm just trying to to explain you why it's so because 